so the question is, does she create a character whose investment is so powerful and one who, whose steps we've watched as she goes down the mountain? And have we become so engaged to believe that her last, that her entire path was inevitable, because that's part of tragedy, that I, as I see it. It's a sense of inevitable, the path to destruction. So are we engaged by it? Do we believe it's inevitable? And do we find um, that it's moving, that it's worthwhile? And so one of the things about tragedy is this notion of the fatal flaw and the question of catharsis. Does the hero find any self-knowledge? We, we usually ask her that. Um, and Lily has a fatal flaw. She creates her own fate. She, I believe she does find redemption. She does understand herself at the end. But one of the things I want you to remember about this book is she is one of the few women up until now who creates her own fate. And we have seen tragic heroines. We have seen Emma Bovary. We have seen Anna Karenina. Their, shapes were fated, their fates were shaped by men. Lily creates her own fate. She stands alone against the sky. She is like Lear. This entire book depends on her actions alone. So what Horton has done is create a great hero who is a female. And she's one of the first to do that.